What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back, everybody. We are now officially on to day 52 flower. This will be the last update before the harvest video. Everything is going to be ripped down really soon, except for that purple plant. That's going to take probably another week or two. So that'll be alive for a little while. And then I'll keep the bottom halves of the plants going for a little bit longer also. So basically, I'm going to do what I usually do and harvest the top half of the plant first and let the bottom half grow a little bit more again. Just take a look at these donkey dicks. Just flop everywhere. Nice and thick. That's going to be a whomper of a plant for sure. No doubt in my mind, like I said before, I'm pretty sure that plant is going to be taking in at least six ounces, bare minimum. Yeah, that's my frosty baby right there. My dosy dose. Doesn't have nowhere near the size of the buds of the Godfather OG. But man, that is some tasty, amazing weed right there. I'm going to switch topics for half a second. I just want to let everyone in on my biggest grow series yet to come. It's going to be a 5x5 five five grow tent. I'm going to be starting it up really soon. I just put it together the other day. And I'm going to be growing some new strains inside of that tent. I'm going to be growing some monster plants. The biggest plants you've ever seen me grown will be grown inside of this 5x5 five five tent. That is a guarantee. So anyway, the new strains are going to be a CBD plant for the first time ever. I'm going to be growing a strawberry CBD 1 to 25. Got it from, I'm pretty sure it was i49.net back in the day about like two three years ago so i'm going to be giving that seed a go i'm pretty excited to be popping that seed because back in the day i49.net had some of the best dna on the planet i swear it now they don't some of their newer seeds were kind of actually mutated and shitty but back in the day they had the most top-notch dna you could ever find so I'm really happy I found that seed, so I'm going to be popping that one. And I'm going to be adding a few more strains, some new ones. I really always like to have a variety going on my channel, and it kind of bores me growing the same thing over and over and over again. So I always got to be switching it up every year. Bare minimum, at least once a year, complete switch up for all my strains. So we'll see what I'm going to be growing inside there. Like I said, definitely a new strain of Dosey Dose from Crop King Seeds. And that CBD plant, the 1 to 25 strawberry. And we'll see what else we're going to be adding in there. I'll make sure it's really good. Anyway, let's go back to what's going on inside of this tent. So basically, what we're doing right now, just the final step, doing the flush. I'm doing a bit of a runoff right now. I want to see where the PPM's at. I didn't give it my huge 50 liter flush to the soil. I've just been giving it some runoff this time. About 2-3 liters of runoff. So the PPM has been dropping slowly but surely and let's go take a look at what it's dropped down to at this point. Should be only a couple hundred. It was like 300 and something the other day so should be a bunch lower. Hopefully. Nice it dropped down probably a good 70-80 PPM. We're right on track to get it below that 100 point before I'm going to harvest it. So it should be good. One last look at all the tops of the colos before I hack them down. Probably going to be cutting them down in six, seven days. I'll make sure I get one last shot of all the plants before I rip them down. But this might be the last close-up shot that you're going to get. So here you go. Nice and frosty. Not the biggest colas, but that frost level no complaints over here and then the beautiful Tropicana cookies you will definitely be seeing a couple more close-up shots of this plant though so you don't, you don't got to worry about that more footage of this to come but the rest of these tops they will be cut down in the next couple of days I'm really excited for this harvest I hope I hit my pound goal. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be really close if not. All right. 
I'm out of here. Take her easy, everyone. See you next time.